1962 or 1963, Mort Werner came into my office and told me that Lou Wasserman had come to town with a fellow called Jennings Lang. Jennings Lang was an important executive and very close to Wasserman, important in the television uh, period at that time. And he had the idea of doing made for television movies, which had never been done before. And NBC's president then, <clears throat> though not chief executive, was a fellow called Robert Kintner. Kintner was a very strong executive. His great strength lay in the news area, much less in entertainment. And he therefore really relied uh, not only on the program people in the company, but on the program people outside the company. He was not a generator of program ideas <clears throat> the way later on I think I was to some extent, and Grant was, and of course Fred Silverman was. He was a buyer of product. and He didn't really get along that well with Tom Sarnoff. In any event, Lang and Wasserman came into town and they wanted to do this world premiere concept. And Mort came to me to get my view on it. And Mort and I were very close. Uh, and, you know, I weighed in and said that he, we thought it would be something worth trying. <clears throat> because although we thought Kintner wanted to do it, we, you know, we had to get, had to speak to the program people. My recollection is that Grant, who was head of the West Coast, wanted to do it. So we, did a deal which I negotiated with a fellow called Al Rush, who has since passed away. He became an important executive uh, later on at uh, MCA Universal. We did a three-picture deal. It was The Killers, <clears throat> in which Ronald Reagan played the heavy who slapped Angie Dickinson. See How They Run, and How I Spent My Summer Vacation. And we did this deal. First one to come in was The Killers, which Kintner had screened in his apartment. <clears throat> and he felt it was too violent. So he told Universal, we're not going to take it. He gave it back to them. And they took it back, which is unheard of. What Universal was really seeking was a deal to sell a lot of these things. And ABC and CBS didn't bite at all, particularly CBS. They thought this was a fool's mission. But we put them on the air, and they did very well. They did very, very well. So this was the beginning of the made-for-television movie uh, at uh, NBC. And Grant and I played an important role in that, which I'll come to in a moment. Now, why weren't movies made for television before that point. It was kind of late in television development. Well, the reason was television did not broadcast long forms. It broadcast one hour and half hour programs, which were quite repeatable. <clears throat> it wasn't until 1960 that any network put motion pictures on in prime time. Motion pictures were played on uh, tele local television stations in their time, but there were no time periods on television for motion pictures until NBC started something called Saturday Night at the Movies. And I think that initial deal was for 20, it was 20th Century Fox, and it was 400,000 for two runs. For picture. We started it and it worked. And the other networks began to get into the business. And Lang, if there's a father of the made for television movie, if there's any single father, it is Jennings Lang. Not a name, but he believed in it. And he started talking to me about it and to Mort about it before this deal was made. It took Wasserman 
to seal the deal, and he did.